Us to discuss this is Kano Public Complaints and Anti Corruption Commission, uh, Muhi Magaji. Good to have you on the news at this time. Well, when this news broke, uh, a lot of Nigerians took it with quite uh, a, a bit of a pinch of salt, if not a bag. Now, how far would the Kano Emir's probe of the alleged uh, misappropriation of uh, six point, um, of, well, the amount 6.8 million uh, naira by this gorilla? Okay. Uh Good afternoon, and thank you for having me. In terms of all, uh, I believe it is not uh, the claim of Colonel Zoological Garden. As you rightly said, uh, the, His Excellency, the Delegate Governor of Colonel said, have instructed us to launch an investigation into the alleged, you know, case of uh, missing 6.8 million naira from the Colonel Zoological Garden, uh, generated uh, from the Idil al Kabir celebration. And that is what we have been doing uh, since Friday. And it was discovered that on 8th uh, June uh, uh, 2019, that is this month, uh, a suspected hoodlums uh, break into the zoo uh, in the midnight, lock up uh, the guard, guard overpowered them and locked them up in the one room. And uh, they were able to uh, ransack all the premises and were able to discover uh, a, a, a safe containing the money. And they charged it away. And uh, contrary to the widely speculated uh, you know, news, there was no even gorilla in the zoo, in Karo Zoo. There, there is, yes, they have monkeys, but there's no gorilla. It was only during the reportage of the case uh, by one of the radio stations in Kano that the presenter you, uh, tried to you know, put it uh, in, uh, tried to correlate it with the issue uh, uh, that happens in jump office. And unlike the jump office, uh, none of the suspects in this case uh, have, 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 have even made mention of uh, uh, gorilla or something like that. He was uh, uh, making a hypothesis of the whole case. And that's what happened. Uh, in the morning, the management of the, uh, of the zoo were able to uh, report the matter to the police, and the police took the matter from the Sharada's police station, they took the matter to the Colonel Police Command, and based on the commission's investigation, we were able to find out that uh, 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 the matter is now being handled as a robbery case, a not anti-corruption case. And this is what we are now uh, reporting to the government, that the matter is now better handled by the police and who allow the police to, uh, you know, you know, provide their, their, their report before we now con continue with our investigation. But uh, 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 in the course of investigation, you know, when this thing happens, people used to come and uh, report things. And that's when people come and talk. They provide information to us that even the, the animals were not being taken care of. So this yeah. is what the commission is now looking at. We are All looking right. at the aspect of who is taking care of the animals and how much they budgeted to who is, uh, you know, diverting the money out and what well, I do. We learned that the commission is uh, going ahead with the investigation in spite of the fact that people like Aliko Dangote and the Kiti Governor Kayo Defai may have uh, intervened. What can you tell us about this? You are referring to the case of Emery Council. Am I right? Pardon? Are you referring to the case of Kano Emery Council? No, 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 not, not that particular. Yeah, well, that, that, that's a, a okay. factor. Okay, if, yes, you, if you want to, to speak to that. Kano Emerick Council, Council, Council is a different case entirely different from the case at hand. And the issue of Kano Emerick Council is within the five view of the commission to investigate alleged corrupt practices, corrupt practices in, in all aspects of the state. And uh, going by the provision of Section 15, in 2017, precisely 28th April, we now had a... a we received a petition which mandated us, uh, which uh, we ignite our jurisdiction to investigate the matter. In the process of investigation, it, we stop halfway because of the case that uh, that become so concurrent with that, that of the State House Assembly. But afterward, we, afterward, we continue with our investigation. So what is happening in the government is different from what, how, what is happening in the commission because the commission is an independent entity. By virtue of Section 8, we are not under the direction and control of any authority. And this commission, unlike the one in the zoo, is not at the instance of the state government. This com this investigation is, is based on the petition brought by the the, 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 the concerned citizens. So I think we have a moral burden uh, to continue with the investigation and to make sure that we uncover the truth. What we are saying that investigation okay. is not more, it's not much more than uh, much more than uh, path finding. But the, 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 there there are indications. There are indications that the governor of Kano State is asking for public apology from. Uh, the EMEA, would that stop the investigation from going on? Whatever happening with the political authorities is different from what is happening here in the commission. What is happening here in the commission is purely professional anti-corruption efforts. And you know that is in all the country, we are the only state that have a prototype 
anti-corruption uh, agencies like that of the federal government and that and what which we are now doing doing our best to make sure that we live up to the standard so whatever happens here yes uh, the government the governor had the powers if we finish our investigation by virtue of section 211 of the constitution the state attorney general can stop the prosecution if if the case need be uh, that we must go to prosecution they can stop the prosecution at the same time even after the, the conviction, uh, the propagated mercy is there. So what we are saying that as far as the commission is concerned, we are independent, we are doing our probe, and our, we are doing our investigation, independent of what is happening in the government. And whatever is happening in the government there is not that something that concerns us. How, would you, how would you, in your commission, in carrying out your investigation, or whatever the outcome is, convince uh, people everywhere that this is not based on a personal uh, vendetta? On, on, you know, on the part of either side. What, what I'm you're truly is, uh, neutral. You, you, know, you know, people are entitled to their own opinion. Uh, uh, ever since I come to this commission, we have carried out more than 4,000 investigations. And, uh, you know, we are, we are two, we are, we are two, we, 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 it's one commission that con contains two, 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 uh, two responsibilities. We are ombudsman and we are anti-corruption uh, uh, commission. So whatever we are doing, we are doing it to the best of our ability, and uh, uh, people might speculate. But what we are saying, as far as we are concerned, we are not even aware of anything that will warrant a vendetta, talk less of vendetta uh, of having an ill motive against somebody. And this is commission. This is an investigation. We are not creating parts. We are not creating law. What we are doing, we are building our things on parts, available parts, and the law that empower us and perhaps that uh, become contrary to the action of somebody. So whatever we are doing, we are doing it both, both on what we have. So uh, I believe there is nothing like Bandetta here. And if, if someone is thinking of Bandetta, at least it's his own defense. But as far as we are concerned, we are doing our job. And that is it. All right. Um, Muhi Magaji, Anti-Corruption Agency in Kano, they're speaking to us live.